hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's been a full week and a half, almost two weeks, before I hit y'all with a swole stroll. Uh, sorry, I'm wearing the same shirt as last time. But I do have some fancy head work, so maybe that'll distract you. But uh, yeah, guys, just want to check in with you. Get you a little motivation going this week. Uh, let's hit the sidewalk and back in the uh, affluent neighborhood. Hey, the ghetto was getting pretty high traffic during the afternoon hours. So, want to check in with you here. Don't have my tripod, but we got a little pop socket going on. So maybe, maybe this works. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, guys, something that I thought of earlier, guess we can make it the topic of this week and just kind of ramble from there. I want to talk about the deck of cards you were dealt. Did you get a nice deck of cards? Or did you get a little dollar store version? What's your hand look like? A lot of people, they get lucky. They get that, they get that face card. They get a king or a queen, jack, and they get that ace, that 21 right off the get go. Hope y'all enjoy this, this blackjack motivation here. But uh, just think of, just think of all the different people in the world. And a dealer's gotta throw you these cards out. Maybe this comes to mind because I just got back from Vegas. So that's another story. Uh, so the dealer's gonna throw you some cards out. Man, I hope I get a face card. I hope I get an ace blackjack right off the top I win some money I win at life you're not always going to get that that's very rare to be honest blackjack out of the hole I don't know the percentage look it up I, I know it seems like Vegas <laughs> they got better odds maybe they got something going on eight deck of cards at once going on but uh just think about that. Not all of us are given that great hand in blackjack. So what do we do? Well, we have to roll with the three and the five that we got. Well, that puts us at eight. We got to hit 21. So, hey, we got to put in some work. You know what I mean? Rarely do you get that perfect hand. So what's that mean? More than likely, you're going to have to work to get what you want. So, that's the speech today. And uh, I'll give you a quick story. This is more, this is more uh, Texas Hold'em type of deal. For all you uh, card sharks out there. I don't play it much anymore unless I'm in Vegas. But it brings back some old memories. Most of the time I had just a credit card on me this past weekend in Vegas, so there uh, there wasn't much gambling. It was probably a good thing. I'm usually good at it. I'm usually good. A little roulette wheel. I can I can see where the ball's gonna land, but <laughs> at least that's what I tell myself after a few cold ones. Get a little confidence there. But uh yeah guys, in Texas hold them. I remember part of my childhood growing up, we'd get together, we'd get some kids off a ball team over to the house, and uh, you know, we'd gamble a little five, ten dollars here and there, you know, and uh, just a friendly, friendly little wager. Sometimes you just gave money back to them just because it was a heck of a game, you know, and everybody had some good, clean fun. But I remember one time, 
I had, man, I had a crappy hand. It was like a, it's like a, a three nine offsuit or something. Something that's not really played that often. A lot of times you'll just fold because it's, it's, it's not a good hand off the top. And, uh, but I decided I was going to bluff. I was like, man, we're really rolling the dice here, but I'm going to make them work for it. They ain't just going to take my money off the top. So what I do? I kept bluffing. Uh, I was, I was raising, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to scare him out and, uh, it wasn't working. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, I'm already kind of committed at this point. So, uh, making sure my screen's still on. So I was bluffing, I was losing a lot of money. He's about near to take me out. So I got lucky. Next couple, next couple cards paired up. I can't remember all the card lingo, but man, I had three of a kind and another pair came out. I ended up having like a full house or something. Uh, for people that don't know cards, I had a real good hand. It started out crap. I kept trusting the process. You know, it could have been bad, but for the chance of something very good happening, you got to put in the work. You know, I was I was walking into the gym. I was about to walk into the gym when I decided to do this. I was like. Let's just knock out an extra 15, 20 minutes of cardio. And if I do it before and I'm out here filming, doing something, moving, I don't really, it's not, it's not stressful to me. This is just letting my mind roll, get me some of this good Kentucky sunshine, getting a little extra vitamin D3 going on. And, uh, Go ahead, bud. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta fake them out. You gotta go one way and then get them out of the way and then, then come back. <laughs> but anyway, guys, moral of the story, not everybody's dealt a perfect hand. Take the hand, roll with it. Life's not fair. Put the work in. You'll see the results, just a matter of time. You need patience, perseverance, consistency. Do something long enough, eventually things are gonna start going your way as long as you're putting in 100% effort. So get out there guys, have a good week. Love y'all, God bless, happy Easter.